What's up guys, Matt here back with the anti stress channel and welcome back to Island. So today is gonna be the last video of uh, 4 uh, about my multi farm. I think I'm gonna finish it today. So if you didn't check the first 3 videos of the saga, I will leave you here the first one and then check out the rest. Uh, okay, so um, we did all the layers with crops and totems and now what you need to do is you need to put the conveyor belts next to the totems. Um, I find it a little bit more hard than than I thought. I should have put maybe first the conve the conveyor belts, but I, I think I'm gonna just do this one or another one, maybe two, just to, for you to get an idea how to put them. And then I'm gonna cut the video a little bit so you don't have to sit through me putting conveyor belts on seven floors of crops. And before I start this video, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. And again, if you have some tips for me, let me know in the comment section down below. So as I was saying, today is gonna be the last uh, video about the multi-farm. I'm gonna finish it today, even if it's gonna take me a few hours, I don't care. But today is gonna be done. So each layer, each uh, layer has a, each floor has a different crop. This one has tomatoes, as I said before. Um, and the next one, I think it has radishes and then uh, potatoes, onions and so on and so on. Again, if you don't get it, just go ahead and check on uh, four days ago I started the saga. So check it out. Okay, I'm, I'm done with this floor. And I'm gonna go to the lower level. Yeah, here are the radishes. And here I'm gonna start putting them again. I'll have to find a better way, it's kind of hard to do it like this. Um, but as I said, after, after this I think I'm gonna cut the video so you don't have to be you don't have to be sitting uh, and watching me putting conveyor belts. I think this is gonna be the last one that I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's kinda hard, especially the, the levels in the middle. The camera is wonky a little bit. Uh, wait, maybe I'm gonna go later on to the first person camera. And as you can see, the radish has also already started to fall down. And yeah, you will need a lot of conveyor belts for this. I have like 250 of those. Um, but yeah, I think I will need like a 200 conveyor belts. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, a lot of conveyor belts, a lot of uh, steel rods, a lot of uh, uh, iron. So yeah. Okay, I'm almost done here. Why it's so hard for me to put them? I should have started with them. Anyway guys, uh, we are all waiting for the new update. Uh, why did I have to fall down? Okay, let me go and run real quick up there. Um, yeah, we're all uh, waiting for the new update for uh, Islands. Uh, the last few updates, hmm, nobody really liked it. Like, they are cool, but nothing special really. They really need to do something with this game. Um, I think uh, Workbench... Uh, uh, Workbench tier 5 would be in order. I don't know, maybe something with iron or I don't know. I don't know. What, whatever. Maybe concrete. Something that we can work on. I don't know. We will see. So I'm here. I'm back on top. Yeah, this is a little bit faster. But they definitely need to make an, another update because. Um, because. Wait, last one. Um, yeah, uh, we're, I'm kind of running out of ideas anymore, like what to do in the game. Okay, I cut the video a little bit, I'm in the last one. Pumpkin. There I put all of the conveyor belts, finally. I used 230 of those, oh my god, oh my. Okay, let's go down, and let's check out what's going on. First I'm gonna show you all the floors have a conveyor belt. This one, potatoes conveyor belt, also carrots conveyor belt. Just I hate these stairs, I, I really need to fix them. Come on, going up, okay. Carrots conveyor belts, okay, never mind. And as you can see, they're all falling there on the ground. Uh, <laughs> a salad is falling down. And as I say, the this one is gonna be uh, big if you didn't upgrade the totems a little bit. I'm gonna just take a few of the oily uh, crop 
because I will need them. So I will take two potatoes, two carrots, two tomatoes and two onions, the oily ones. I will need it a little bit later. And now we're gonna start with the last uh, finishing touches on the multi farm. First I'm gonna start with glass. Let me just collect, I'm missing one potato. There you go. One more potato I'm missing. Potatoes. Come on, potatoes, I see tomatoes, pumpkins, onions. I'm missing one potato. Potato. Come on. Where are they? Where are the potatoes? Yeah, the despawn is gonna be... I will have to upgrade the, the totems a little bit more. I see the despawn already causing problems. Okay, so I have two of, of oily... Uh, of each oily fruit uh, crops. This I will need a little bit later. So I'm gonna start with glass. I'm just gonna make... Um, I'm just gonna put the glass here around. So here is the hole, I'm just gonna put a uh, glass around here, one, two, and this one I'm gonna do until down, there you go, come on, the last one, there you go, okay, and I'm gonna do it all around, just be sure not to, uh, not to put the glass on the hole because it does need to fall down all the crops, just put it around the glass, there you go. And there you go. And this one, this part also. Just don't put it in the middle because you will uh, not let the crops pass through. Okay. And here I'm gonna put two. And I'm gonna close it all up. I'm gonna make a box out of glass. Okay. And I'm gonna put conveyor belts here. So I'm gonna put one and two and three. Okay, and I'm gonna close it up. There you go. And this one also. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna just put the glass all around here. Just make it all nice. Come on, and last four pieces of glass. There you go. Okay, now goes the really interesting part. Um, you need a filter conveyor now. Actually, you need four of those. And I'm gonna show you uh, everything what you will need just in one second. Um, yeah, I will need to. There, yeah, I had to cut the video a little bit. So as I said, you need uh, filter conveyors, which you can find in the workbench tier four underneath uh, factory. Actually, I'm gonna go and show it up to you. I'm not really sure if you can find it in workbench tier three. Not sure about it, but definitely in tier 4. I, I think that you could buy it before in the tier 3, but I'm not sure anymore. So you go to factory, somewhere in the middle, there it is, filter conveyor. I have 10 of those, but this is where you craft them. Um, and you will need 4 of them, and you will need uh, 4 washing stations, and at least 7 crate packers for this multi-farm. Okay. So, filter conveyor, just be sure to write it, uh, the, uh, turn it the right way. Okay. The white arrow is the one that you're looking at. Okay, you need one, two, and then you turn it. Uh, okay, this is how you put the first two, and then there on the sides we will put another two. I will show it to you everything in a second, let me just get everything. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one, there you go. And here another one. So this is how you put your filter conveyors for the multi-farm. There you go. Now I'm gonna need some left and right uh, conveyor belts. So I'm gonna put out left. And I'm gonna put uh, right. And there you go. And at the end we will, uh, uh, we will just filter the crops where they are gonna go. So here I'm gonna put one, okay, one, two, and three, there you go. And now we're gonna use the right one, the one. Uh, later on I'm gonna change them for a tier two conveyor belt, but for now I have these ones. 
Okay, cool. And this is the last one. Okay, so the oily, the oily crops are gonna go to the left and the right. So I will put out my washing station. There you go. You need four of them. So I'm gonna put here an oily crop. One. And here an oily crop. And... Uh, yeah, so the oily crops are gonna go on the sides, definitely. Okay, one, two. And we're gonna put also here two more oily. So we have four oily crops and three crops that they are not oily. So the oily crops needs to go through the washing station and you need to put the... Uh, you need to put the cold totems for the washing station. It's gonna put them... Actually, it will be better for you to put them on the outside. I'll show it to you in a second. And I'm gonna put washing station. So one... Let me just turn it. There you go. One. Two. And two more on the other side. Come on. Three. And one more, one more there. Okay, and now we are gonna put the crate packers. I will put tier one and later on I will change it to tier two. Okay, one and two. And then here we're gonna put all three of them. One, uh, two, three. Okay. And here on the last uh, two washing station you add another uh, one. I'm too close. Okay, one and two. And now we need to put uh, the uh, industrial chests. I have just two of them. I'll have to go and craft a little bit more of them. I'll do it in a second. I'll just put two here. And then the last thing to do is to uh, to do the... We need to set up the filter conveyors. And I will show you how to do it in just a second. I need to run really quick to get um, industrial chests. I just have two of them, so I need five more. I think I will have everything. Let me see if I have everything. So, yeah, I have enough blank. <clears throat> okay, five. There you go. So, five industrial chests. Oh, you can also buy a filter conveyor in Workbench Tier 3. I'm just missing some iron and I have my iron here Come on. yeah I'll have enough I'll have enough okay good 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 so yeah it looks a little bit confusing but uh, really once you set up the, the filters on the filter conveyor it's where it's gonna start making sense again just follow the steps that I'm doing and you will be able to do everything good just be sure again the totems I said in the video number three. It will be the best to upgrade every second or every third totem at least for one level efficiency because of the despawn of the crops. Okay. So chest. What I, what am I writing? Chest. There you go. Okay. And I'm gonna put two more here. And I need to still set up the crate packers. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. And the last three chests go here in the front. Okay. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Good. Now let's go to the filter conveyors. Okay. So on uh, one side, they're gonna go two oily crops. Uh, let's put a potato. Oily potato. There you go. One. We go on this side. Oily potato. And we will put um, uh, oily carrot on one side. And on the other side, uh, oily tomato and onion. So the first filter is done. In the front is gonna go the pumpkin, radish, and uh, pumpkin, radish, and wheat. And the oily ones are gonna go left and right. Okay, let's check it out. So, okay, I'll have to put some glass here so it doesn't fall out. Okay, so here come here are coming the potatoes and the carrots. 
and still I have to put some glass around because they're falling all down. Okay, so here we have to do a filter of uh, on one side it will go carrot and on the other side it will go potato. It, it, just be sure that it goes oily ones. That's why we pick a few of those up so you have them in your inventory. So on one side goes a potato and on the other side goes carrot. There you go. And one side is done. Let's check it out. Okay, let's just check out that everything works. Okay, the potatoes and the carrots are going on. Yeah, good, 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 good. I'm liking it. I just need to put some glass around it so they're not falling down. Okay, on this side we have uh, onion and what else? And tomato. So one side goes onion. Onion. And on the other side goes the tomato. It doesn't really matter which side. Just be sure to set up the crate packer good later on. Okay, and now we will check out where they where do they go. So on 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 this side the onions are coming. So I need to set up the crate packer on onions. On this side the tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. There you go. Okay, and on the other side I need to change it to potatoes. Uh, so this crate is gonna be a potato crate and potato there you go and that one is gonna be a carrot crate carrots 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 uh, where is it where is it there you go okay and now it's just uh, we just need to finish uh, the front so the pumpkin the radishes and the wheat okay everything works good the potatoes coming carrots are coming uh, they're a little bit falling off, I will have to put some glass around it, so I will do this in a second. So pumpkin is gonna go to the, to the left side, and radishes are gonna go to the right side, and the wheat are gonna go in the middle. Okay, yeah everything looks good. Okay, so we just need to set up the crate packers, so radishes go to this side. Uh, radishes, radishes, where are they? No apples, where are the radishes? Nope, nope, kiwis. Is there even a radish crate? Where are they? Uh, there are they, radishes, okay. On this side is we said uh, pumpkin crates, there you go. And here is gonna be the wheat. It's already set up, so everything's good. Okay, everything is set up. We just need to put some glass around it so they're not falling down like this. Uh, I need to put out some glass. And I already see the despawn problem happening. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely we'll have to. No, I will not. I will not do it with the... Uh, I will not do it with the glass pane. I will do it with glass. Yeah, I already see the despawn problem happening because of too many. So I'm just gonna put here uh, too many uh, crop at once. So definitely just put the um, totems out of sync by upgrading every second or every third. Okay, so here glass and yeah, everything everything looks to work really fine. My multi-farm works really good. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Here goes the tomatoes. Nice. And here goes the onions. Yeah, I love it. Okay. I cannot put the glass here, but I can put the glass here and here. And on this side as well. There you go. Just put it around it so they are not falling. I will have to... Uh, remove that totem and put it on the other side and put some glass but I will do this later on just put glass around it or any other block and yeah my multi farm is done guys it has been a uh, four video like few hours I did on this but it's finally done and now I'll have crates of everything and uh, guys that's all for me for today thank you very much for watching let me know if you like this idea and be sure to like and subscribe as usual guys 
Uh, again, I will see you tomorrow with another uh, video on islands, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your days. Okay, guys, see you back tomorrow. Ciao, 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 ciao.